Welcome back to Tennis Talk. My name's Cam Williams, and it's time to go through the power rankings for another week, a second week of power rankings. And last week was interesting. There was a lot of comments about, you know, who was supposed to be on top of the rankings. Maybe uh, a lot of you actually liked the fact that Igor Sviantec was on top. Let's have a look, though, because there's some big changes going on in the power rankings. Not so much on the main rankings, though. So let's go check out the WTA rankings for this week first. So not too many changes to the main rankings, with the only real change being Sabalenka and Zachary swapping spots in the middle at 4 and 5. And after a really good week last week, Jabor leapfrogs Muguruza into ninth spot, pushing Muguruza down to 10. On the WTA race to the finals, no real changes. The only change is in the middle there, with Bedosa playing last week and making a quarterfinal in Charleston. So she goes up to number 3, pushing Colin down to number four and Benchic after winning in Charleston she gets into the top eight six spots higher than last week pushing down Halep and Pagula outside of that top eight race of the finals having a look at the ATP rankings and there was no change at all not even for the race of the finals same top 10 as last week but that'll change this week because we do have a lot of players in action from that top 10 and the race of the finals nothing's changed Rafa's still on top Alcaraz number two but Djokovic is coming back we'll see if he can do well in Monte Carlo and maybe feature in the race of the finals next week. Okay, so let's have a look at the power rankings for this week, and there are some big changes. Starting at number 20, Daniela Collins, she stays at number 20. Didn't play last week, so she stays at her number 20 spot. At number 19 is Taylor Fritz. He's gone down 11 spots from last week. He was in the top eight last week. Now he's down at number 19, and that's because he lost in Houston to Christian Garin, who is a pretty good clay court player, but still, going by their rankings, Fritz should have beaten Garin, and he didn't. And that's why he's dropped so low in those ranks. Coming in number 18 is Simona Halep, which is one spot lower than last week. Not because Halep played bad last week. In fact, she didn't play at all. But there was a player that played really well that rocketed up the rankings. So a lot of players are getting pushed down. Ostapenko's at number 17, one spot lower than last week. Same reason as Halep. Her catch, he goes down to number 16 this week. Rude, he's down at number 15. Again, both those guys didn't play last week, so it wasn't because they played badly. It was because they didn't play and someone else did, and they rocket up the rankings. We'll find out that soon. Contivate, she goes down to number 14. Same reason as everybody else. Didn't play last week. Cam Norrie, he also goes one spot down lower than last week, number 13. Osaka the same. She goes down a spot lower to number 12. Daniel Medvedev, he goes down to number 11 outside the top 10, and he's not playing for a while, so I don't know when we'll see Medvedev again, and he might get pushed out of the rankings completely before he comes back. Kecmenovic, he drops down to number 10 in the rankings. Again, didn't play last week. Coming in at number 9, though, is Paula Badosa. She's gone down five spots from last week. She was number 4 last week. She's gone down to number 9 as a result of losing in Charleston. She made the quarterfinals there, but she lost to Bencic, who on a normal day, she should have probably beaten. So that's why Badosa has dropped down so low, five spots lower than last week. Yannick Sinner, he comes in at number 8. He's dropped down three spots lower than last week, and that's due to mainly a shuffle of the rankings points because last week the number five ranking was because he hadn't lost that many matches and it didn't account for the withdrawals now we've accounted for those walkovers and withdrawals so he is now down to number eight which I think is a more accurate summary of where he is. Zachary, she stays at number seven for this week. Rublev stays at number six. But Riley Opelka, he's gone up to number five in the rankings, 14 spots higher than last week. And that's after he won in Houston, beating some big names along the way. He was the number three seed as well. He beat Kyrgios in the semifinals and then John Isner in the final. And that's why he's gone up so high. It's number five in the power rankings for this week. And in number four, Belinda Benchit. She is brand new to the power rankings. She wasn't in the rankings last week. She's gone up to number four out of nowhere. She wasn't even in the top 30 last week. And that's from winning Charleston. She beat some massive players along the way as well. The names that she beat last week, she beat Madison Keys. She beat Bedosa. And of course, Jabor in the final. So three big wins there for Belinda Bencic, which is why she's up at number four. Coming in at number three, Carlos Alcarez. He doesn't move a spot. He didn't play last week. And he stays in at number three. But he is playing in Monte Carlo this week. So we'll see if he can maintain his top three spot. Rafa Nadal comes in at number two again. He's not playing in Monte Carlo. He's actually not playing for a couple of weeks. So we don't know when Raf is going to come back, but he hangs on to number two spot. And of course, Iga Sviantec, she is at the number one spot. She doesn't move from last week. She has had such a phenomenal season and she is playing this week. So things could change at the top because she is playing in the Billie Jean King Cup. So there could be a bit of a change at the top if Sviantec doesn't play well for Poland this weekend. So there you have it, the rankings for another week, the power rankings. Let me know down in the comments below. Are you shocked about anyone in the power rankings? The power rankings are going to be so crazy over the season because things can change rapidly in the span of a week. I mean, some players were going up and down 14, 15 spots. Some people coming out of nowhere to get into the top 10. I mean, it's going to be crazy, especially with the big names playing over the next couple of weeks. 
Let me know down in the comments below. Are you shocked about anyone in the rankings or are you shocked about someone who's not in the rankings? We still don't have Sidzi Pass. Where is Verev? You know, those guys are all out of the rankings. So let me know down in the comments below. How do you think the power rankings look this week?